What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video we're going to be going through the brand new banners that will be arriving on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global, going through some of the new characters that we'll include in these banners and whether or not you guys should be investing rainbow gems into these specific Sugo Fest and limited time character banners. So first of all before we get into the actual Sugo Fest that's coming very very soon, let's discuss the brand newly released limited rainbow recruit Doflamingo. So I actually briefly discussed him uh, relatively recently on my Capone video talking about how shooters got really really good and this character is one of these characters that makes shooters immensely powerful. So this is the limited rare recruit Doflamingo. His captain effect is a 2.5 attack and 1.25 health to shooters and then when you use the special he becomes a 3.25 times attack captain to your shooter characters it's a pretty decent captain effect and his special ability is also extremely good allowing shooter characters damaging and health cutting specials to bypass enemy defensive effects including barriers and damage reducing effects so that's great and then when he allows your shooters to do that he then himself deals 150 times his attack in quick damage to a single enemy lots of damage you can get just with him and then on top of that he also changes block recovery and tandem orbs into matching and then gives shooters a two times orb boost an extremely useful unit for shooter characters in particular another great thing about this character is that when you limit break him he gains an additional crewmate ability that allows shooter characters to treat quick orbs as beneficial once again like this character just makes shooters so much better than what they once were this is the first shooter two times orb boost during the entire game and if you guys are planning to run shooter teams you definitely want to get your hands on this character the only thing is, is that shooters will not be great on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global literally until Legend Capone comes out, which probably won't be around, you know, maybe March or April next year in 2019. That's what I would guess anyway. So... I don't really see much use in actually pulling this character now, aside from the fact that this character is going to be extremely useful in the upcoming ranking mission, so you guys can see right here, I have time travel to when this banner is actually out, and we have a brand new ranking mission which is against Kiros, and this Doflamingo is obviously going to help against this specific ranking mission. So going through some of the structure of this banner, we have the actual banner arriving on the 3rd of November and it will leave on the 7th of November when the Sugo Fest actually starts. So this Doflamingo is going to be available on this banner where shooter driven and fighter characters are going to be available. On the 1st and 2nd 10 plus 1 rare recruit, you are guaranteed to get a 5 star version of any of the showcase characters, meaning that when you do the 1st or 2nd multi, the 11th post is guaranteed to be one of these characters on this tavern banner. So you've got limited rare recruit Dofi, Kobe, and Koala all available on that 11th poster of any multi. Or you could get Amand or Pudding, and each of these characters comes at max special level. So if you are missing these characters, this might be a good opportunity to try and get your hands on these characters. Also available, there are actually some pretty good characters here. Um, there are other limited rare recruits, they're not on this specific banner. But here you can see that there are a lot of rare recruits available to you. Gecko Moria, Koala, as we said, uh, obviously Doflamingo is going to be available. Jewelry, Bonnie, Kobe, Yurog, Brindy World, Akainu, Kizaru, Aokiji, Jinbei, Fisher Tiger, and Eustace Kid. Really good variety of characters that are available on this specific banner. But you got to think that you should be trying to save gems considering the treasure map Sugo is coming, as well as the elusive Gear 4 and Nami Sugo Fest. We still don't know when that's going to be you know, released. I would assume it's going to be around Thanksgiving time, so within the next two to three weeks, I would expect Gear 4 and Nami to be released. But who knows? We don't actually know when they will be coming. Uh, also, something to note as well, that on the third multi pool, you are guaranteed to get a limited rare recruit or a limited time character. And then after that third multi pool, the counter resets. So you can do uh, 30 gem multi, and then the 50 gem, and then the 50 gem, and then it resets back to 30 gems. And the cycle is only three multis, and it keeps resetting. So if you want to get your hands on a lot of limited rare recruits, if you just want to go and wail out on a limited rare recruit banner, this is a pretty good banner to do it on because there are lots of good ones available. As I said though, probably not best to go ahead and do that. 
Also something minor is that every single character that you pull will be coming at level 50, which is actually pretty good, especially, you know, if you get the brand new limited rare root character, it can be quite annoying trying to level them up. So you just get a bit of XP just automatically on these characters. Also meaning that if you pull the four star version of the character, you can immediately evolve them without having to level them up. So that's a really good benefit right there. And uh, as we mentioned before, these are all the limited rare root characters that are available on this banner. Should you be pulling on this? Probably not, but you know, if you are looking for some of these limited rare recruits, if you don't own some of these limited rare recruits, especially if you do not own Kobe, Dofi, or Koala, this might be a good opportunity to spend 30 gems and potentially get one of those characters. Pudding is also a very new character, so if you didn't end up getting her from the Sanji Sugo Fest, you could potentially get her here at max special level. So that is up to you guys to decide that. I honestly would suggest not doing that. But now let's go ahead and go through the Treasure Map Sugo Fest that will be arriving very, very soon. So now let's discuss the Treasure Map Sugo Fest. This will be arriving on the 7th of November, and this is the end date for the, for, for the actual part one, which it ends on the 8th, so only 24 hours for part number one. But before we actually get into the structure of the Sugo Fest itself, there are three different characters that are arriving in the Sugo Fest. They are on this banner, you can see here we have a Sicilian in Inuarashi, and we also have a Shirohoshi character. So let's go ahead and break down each of these characters so you guys know exactly what to expect. The first character that we're going to be talking about is Sicilian. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I do believe that Sicilian is a 1.5 times treasure map point booster character for the upcoming treasure map versus Jack. So Sicilian here is actually quite a useful unit. He is a 2.25 times attack captain for Dex characters, and his special ability maxes at 10 turns, dealing 15 times his attack in Dex damage to only a single enemy that ignores all defensive effects like barriers and damage reducing effects. He also delays all enemies for one turn, and also will give everyone a 1.75 times attack boost if the enemy has a barrier. If they don't have a barrier, you still get a 1.5 times attack boost. So he's a pretty solid unit. And remember that all of these characters that we are talking about right here will be tr trusty characters in every single treasure map from here on out. So getting your hands on these characters are extremely useful uh, for, for even just future maps as well. Not only just the map that they're boosted on initially. So Sicilian is a very, very solid character. And as I said, he's going to be a 1.5 times booster. The next character here is Shirohoshi. Shirohoshi is a Striker Cerebral Psy character. Her Captain ability is a 2.25 times Striker Captain, as well as healing two times her recovery at the end of each turn. Very reminiscent in ways to her Legend variation. Uh, pretty interesting. And her special ability is really good as well. Maxing at 11 turns reduces all enemies' damage reduction, so the Rainbow Shield. Uh, it does not reduce damage threshold, but all uh, Rainbow Shield reductions it will reduce by four turns. It also reduces four turns of chain multiply growth rate reduction. Very, very nice. Also, she goes ahead and changes unfavorable slots to their matching. So, uh, negative into matching, which is great. And also gives you a 0.65 times chain boost. Uh, uh, she's a really good character. Uh, the fact that she gives you so many different effects on an 11 turn cooldown is amazing. Uh, you know, damage reduction is always good to get rid of. Um, the, the the reduction of chain is actually a really interesting one. There aren't that many good characters that actually remove that. So having the access to this character here is going to be quite nice for that. She also does all manipulation and also chain boosting as well. So she's all around just a very useful character to have. And she herself will be a 1.75 times treasure map point booster. So just a heads up, we've got a 1.5 booster, 1.75 booster, and this is the two times booster. Dog Storm. Dog Storm is honestly the best treasure map rare recruit character in existence. Uh, the last time you heard me say that was probably treasure map Boa Hancock. She is also very, very good. But in my opinion, this is the best one. This is the one you want to get your hands on. And as I said, he's going to be a two times point booster for the upcoming treasure map versus Jack. So, Sicilian, uh, Sicilian, Dogstorm, my bad, is a Fighter Cerebral Int character, and he has a captain effect of saying that when you have every single color on your team, he gives everyone a 1.2 health and a 2.25 times attack boost. However, the turn you use his special ability, it's going to be a 3.5 times captain effect, a rainbow 3.5 times captain effect. And if you do not have every single color on your team, he'll just give your crew a 1.55 boost after you use the special ability. So you really have to use this character with one of every color on your team to get the most you know, beneficial effects out of it. 
Very, very good captain effect. As we mentioned, he's going to be a treasure map point booster for every single treasure map from here on out. So having access to a 3.5 captain on every single treasure map is so good. And it gets even better with his special ability, maxing at 12 turns, reduces crew's special bind by 4 turns, reduces all enemies' threshold damage reduction by 3 turns. He then boosts your crew's slot effects depending on your treasure map level. So between treasure map levels 1 and 10, you get a 1.75 boost. Between 11 and 20, it's a 2 times boost. And above 21 is a 2.25 times orb booster universal. So this is going to be a very, very good character to get your hands on. As we mentioned, like, this guy's going to be so good, not only for this map, but every single other map from here on out. Having access to this character is amazing. Uh, and the fact that he has a crewmate ability that reduces his own special bind by three turns, with a special ability that removes four turns of special bind on everyone, this character is insane. I mean, he's like probably, he's like limited rare recruit status, you know, in terms of how good he is. Typically, you know, these treasure map rare recruit characters sometimes are really not that good, um, but this guy definitely is as good as like a limited rare recruit character. Some of those limited rare recruits are extremely good, and I would say he's probably close to that in terms of what he does for his special ability. Obviously, it is a little bit hindered outside of treasure map because you don't get that orb boost. You still get a little bit of utility. Uh, his captain effect isn't really as good uh, outside of, uh, you know, the treasure map itself, but in treasure maps this guy is a god and you want to try and get your hands on him as we said he is going to be the two times point booster for this treasure map now to go over the sugo fest structure right here all wanted posters are going to be four star or better which we all pretty much assumed at this point and then uh, obviously when you get these new characters dogstorm shirahoshi and sicilian they come with max sockets so you've got despair bind auto heal and charge special however the pre-evolved versions will uh, not have charge special and the pre-evolved shirahoshi will not have auto heal and charge special because her pre-evolved version only has two socket spots so with most treasure map Sugo Fest, they're going to be split into three separate parts. Part 1 is only for 24 hours between the 7th and the 8th of November. You've got part 2 from the 8th of November to the 11th, and then you have part 3 from the 11th until the 13th. So if I had to guess, I would assume the treasure map will be arriving probably at the end of the 8th of November to the start of the 9th of November, like, uh, like at midnight on the 9th of, of November. I feel like that'll probably be the safest bet to say when the treasure map will actually be arriving. So that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on though, the actual structure of the Sugo Fest. So for part 1, on the first multi-pull, it's only going to be 30 gems. The second multi-pull, you're guaranteed to get the 1.5 times point booster in Sicilian. And then for the third, sixth, and eighth multi-pull, it's going to be a guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusive character. Here's something that's really cool though, on the fifth multi-pull, you're guaranteed to get the 1.75 times point booster, Shirahoshi as the 11th poster on the 5th multi, so that's great. And then on the 10th multi pool, you have an even higher chance to get red boosted Sugo Fest exclusive characters. And then on the 12th, the 12th multi pool is the exact same as the 10th, but the character you get on the 11th poster will come at max special level. So part 1, I would highly suggest pulling for at least doing 2 multis, get your hands on the new Sicilian character, when you do your pulls for part 1 and you know you're going for that Sicilian, you might get lucky and potentially get either Shirahoshi and slash or Inuarashi in those pulls as well and that would be the most ideal situation. So good luck to everyone who is going to be pulling on this Sugo Fest. I personally will probably go for at least two multi pulls, get my hands on Sicilian and we'll go from there. But that's going to be really really cool. And then moving on to part 2 and 3. Uh, part 2 and 3 are going to have the Dog Storm rate boosted for his pre and post evolution. So, uh, uh, typically this means it's going to be double the chance to get the character. Um, like the other part, it's going to be 30 gems for the first multi pull on part 2 and 3. And then for the third, six, eighth multi pull, it's going to be a guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusive. 10th multi pull, like before, is going to be a rate boosted even further Sugo Fest exclusive. And the 12th multi pull is like the 10th, but at max special level. So depending on what Sugo Fest exclusive characters you have, you may want to pull on different parts. As I said, part 1 probably is going to be the best part to pull on because of the guaranteed uh, treasure map point booster characters. However, for the Sugo Fest exclusive characters rated up on part 1, you have Katakuri, V2 Shanks, you got Nico, Robin, Luffy, Ace, V2 Fuji, Monkey D, Garp, V2 Boa, V1 Sanji, Cat Viper, and Bato. Um, pretty interesting uh, list here. Katakuri is going to be extremely nice here in this treasure map. He does help out a lot. Um, so if you do have Katakuri, that's going to be really, really awesome. Because from memory, I do believe he is like one of the best units to use uh, for the actual treasure map against Jack. 
For part number two, we have access to V2 Akainu and V2 Doflamingo. Frankie, who just got his 6 plus, he's amazing on Japan. Uh, Vinsmoke Judge and Magellan, who just got their 6 pluses on Global, they are also very, very good. You also have Kung Fu Luffy, V2 Law, V1 Aokiji, Korazon, and V1 Fujitora. And then for part 3, you have version 2 Sanji and version 2 Aokiji, version 2 Rayleigh, Lucy, NL, who when he does get his 6 plus is going to be amazing. He is very, very good on Japan. You've got Hody Jones, version 1 Rob Lucci, Kizaru, Usopp, and version 1 Doflamingo. So, this is going to be a pretty interesting Sugo Fest. As I said, I think part 1 is definitely the best way to go. Uh, if you guys are really, really, you know, looking forward to going in on these treasure maps, part 1 is definitely the best way to go. As I said, I'll be doing at least two multi-pulls on part 1 to get my hands on Sicilian. Hopefully get Inu and or Shirahoshi in those multis as well. That would be crazy. But that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you go ahead and smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.